Welcome to the Human Protein Atlas tutorial series brought to you by the Genomic Education Team at the Jackson Laboratory. This short video will demonstrate how to find protein expression levels by tissue for a gene of interest. Some genes in the human genome are expressed and made into protein. While some genes will be expressed in many different organs and tissues, others will have very specific expression patterns. Some genes will be expressed at high levels and others will have low expression levels. Researchers have quantified gene expression levels in the human body and the data has been compiled and can be visualized using the Human Protein Atlas. Let's explore a few examples to see how we can find protein expression levels using this database. First, navigate to proteinatlas.org to get started. You can enter a gene name in the search bar in the center of the landing page. In this first example, we will investigate the gene MLH1. Variants in this gene are associated with Lynch syndrome, which is a hereditary cancer syndrome associated with cases of colon and uterine cancer, among others. So I am going to type MLH1 into the search bar and hit search. Because I'm interested in finding tissue-specific expression of this gene, I can click directly on the tissue box here that comes up in the search results. Data on the tissue-specific expression of MLH1 will now load. We can see here that this gene has low tissue specificity, meaning it is expressed throughout the body. Now scroll down and see the map of the human body under RNA and protein expression summary. This is a great visual of both the RNA and protein expression levels broken down by tissue. The RNA levels are presented here on the left. We will focus on the protein expression, which is the bars on the right. Consistent with low tissue specificity, we can see bars for most of the tissues in the body. Let's say we want to look at the protein expression within the uterus because variants in this gene are associated with uterine cancer. So we can locate female tissues. And if we click on the protein expression bar, different female tissues will appear. We are interested in the uterus, which is listed here as the endometrium, which is the tissue that lines the uterus. If we hover over that bar for protein expression, there's a further breakdown into different cell types within the endometrium. We can see that the expression level within the uterus is medium or high. Let's look at another gene as a comparison. ACE, or ACE, is a gene involved in blood pressure control and regulates fluid volume in the body. I will type ACE into the search bar and then hit search. And again, we'll select tissue. You can see here that this gene has tissue enhanced specificity, meaning it is expressed specifically in the intestines and testes. So if we scroll down to the human body diagram, we can see that there are large bars for protein expression in the gastrointestinal tract, as well as in the male tissues. There's also high expression in the kidneys and urinary tract, which makes sense due to this gene's involvement in blood volume and blood pressure control. If we click on this bar, we see that the expression is highest in the kidneys. And if we click further or hover, we can see that this expression is limited to the proximal tubules and not really in other cells in the kidney or in the urinary bladder. Thank you for listening. For more information about the Human Protein Atlas, see the other tutorials in this series. And for more resources provided by Jack's Genomic Education, please visit our website.